Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing OP USSR. This is post No Step Back DLC. So let's get into it here. The last video was on the pre war uh, build. And this video, we're going to get into war. We've done simultaneous war goals on Poland and Yugoslavia. And that should bring in Czechoslovakia Rome, and Romania into the war and hopefully the allies stay out of it we did not get the french um non-interventionalist committee decision so i am pretty confident that the uk and the allies will stay out of our business so let's get into it here uh we're going to start off by decking on poland and yugoslavia we have two armored spearheads here attacking from two different provinces. One of them is going to be right here. I'm going to control alt and just support attack from one province. The other armored spearhead is going to go into these uh, hill regions here. And we're just going to wait till Romania comes into the war brought in by Yugoslavia fine by me are you shuffling my bro you don't need to shuffle okay we have one cast going up into the eastern poland region one cast going into the eastern balkan region and we'll just get more ground crews in both of those areas until i can use the command power uh, to upgrade my generals here i've upgraded zhukov and primakov to field marshals and then i gave them the extra uh stat here by giving them offensive doctrine um the other thing that i want to do is upgrade oh i do need to take this off okay so we're prioritizing our armored spearhead into romania here so i'll put the more gr ground crews in romania and then that gives us enough command power to get um Ivan Konev concealment expert and enemy air support is going to be negative 10%. That's going to allow us to get more um, air superiority, move quicker underneath uh, the opposition's air. So let's get into it here. We'll just start turning on all these battle plans these battle plans up here are with primakov and zhukov and they're just there because i'm manually microing those two armies and that does give us a combat bonus to have those empty battle plans up i don't want there to be too much shuffling so let's just adjust those lines and let's see how we do here So we do have the air support bonus, which is a negative to our opponent. We're attacking in these two key regions right here because it's a railroad. It's a low supply area and there's a rail crossing there. And then over here, for some reason, it's just easier to attack into these hills. Tanks don't get too much of a debuff attacking into hills. So it's okay to attack there with your tanks. If we're having some trouble, we can always bring in the cav. No problem. Okay, we have a breakthrough here. You can use supply planes to kind of help you out in these situations. I don't think we're going to be able to improve supply that much. This looks like it's going to be a muddy region. You can see that division speed... All the organization, all that stuff is decreased. What we're going to try to do is to increase our motorization priority. And this is going to take trucks out of our stockpile. Saw the trucks decrease there. And it's going to increase the amount of supply that we get from our different supply hubs. And you can see that this hub right here is pretty stressed and having problems getting supply in those areas. Let's just kind of use the cav to kind of push these other territories out. 
kind of open the wound a little bit right there. And uh, it looks like the uh, air screen is bugged here, so I don't know if I have green air or not, but what will happen is they will start bombing you. The AI will prioritize. Uh, what's the new thing called here? Logistic strike. So it will bomb your infrastructure behind your front lines. What I do is just push my construction to the bottom and prioritize the rebuilding of infrastructure and then rails. And that's probably why we're getting some low supply in these areas. So hopefully that helps it out. Okay, so that was a pushover. Spain relocates gold reserves. I think that used to give USSR negative 5% consumer goods. Doesn't look like it does anything right now. Okay, so hopefully we can push out those two areas. Oh, we've run into a fresh division. Let's chase these two deorged divisions across if we can. Okay, the, they're about to deorg right there. That'll be awesome. So we'll punch through over here. It's surprising that we punched through over here so quickly. But a nice surprise. And Checo is against us. Perfect. So they're probably bringing their divisions up to the line. Okay, Spain War just ended. And once we open this up, hopefully it'll help supply in that area. My divisions are attritioning quite a bit. I like this stockpile of trucks. You can actually increase uh, this motorization priority again. Um, we could do that just in the meantime here. Didn't really help us too much, it looked like. Yeah, so let's uh, see what the stockpile is now. Barely any trucks. I'll keep that up just for, for right now. While we're having problems with supply. Oh, and looks like we made a breakthrough here in Romania. Perfect. And as you can see, the cavalry are pretty much stronger than the armored units. But the thing is, they're not faster, and that's important. And they take more damage because they don't have breakthrough. So although, you know, they don't appear to be doing as well now in the long run, you know, I, th I still think that tanks are important. Another bourgeoisie meets his end. Okay, we're slowly deorging de and cycling through there. <clears throat> and these tanks got pushed back. Let's see if they could just punch across this river here. That would be real nice if we got across. Maybe we can get into Czechoslovakia. God, still bugged. Too bad. See our construction screen. So you kind of got to go back and forth and micro that. Oh, we made it across here. Perfect. So let's see. I think that this or Stanislaw, Stanislaw will give us some production points for sure. Let's try to attack into the, those regions and try to move the tanks around. They're going to move very slowly here. And we'll keep going. Uh, let's try to get you out of there. Getting this town will give us a lot of supply. Almost got these guys out. Okay, perfect. 
So they're going to keep the heat up over there. We'll even start attacking in this other area. Oh, it won't let me. And now that we're able to attack here, these divisions can't reinforce over here. Okay, we made it through. Let's see how far we can make it. If you're a newer player, you might not want to try to snake like this. It is quite dangerous. Okay, those guys are on the move. Just double checking there. I'm going to shift right click to keep keep them moving forward. Some supply planes could help. I'm going without supply planes for this build. Man, it's so hard to see the air regions. Okay, we made a breakthrough here. Let's go ahead and try to get across. And I like to break through at least in two provinces. And it looks like we're going to be able to get maybe some encirclements there if everything goes well. Let's take one of these guys, have them support attack there, have the other one support attack in this other province. These guys are deorging pretty quickly. Okay, so we're just pu pushing them back. That's fine. Didn't get the encirclement there. That's fine. We're trying to make that discreet breakthrough in order to push on into Romania here, which we're doing very successfully. Try to set up some support attacks. <clears throat> and it looks like their low supply is gone. Oh, the checks are waiting for us over there. That's no good. But you know what? Maybe we could wrap around to low. All they need to, to do is attack, and this guy will have to retreat. Oh, Hearts of Iron 4 devs, you're breaking my heart with this, this update. Nerf my precious tanks. I can't snake. No more snaking abilities. I'm just kidding. It actually makes a lot of sense to do the, upgrade, the update that they did and how they did it. Because snaking is no longer a thing. So you kind of have to work up carefully, kind of unilaterally, and keep your tanks supplied. These guys are on the right side of the river, so we could actually take these guys and move them back. And we're just kind of slowly moving through them or rolling them up here. have him tack over into Galati. Wow, these guys are pretty low supply. Let's take half of them and then have them go like maybe that way. Um, let's get these guys up here. And it looks like uh, our opponents are giving us a lot of opportunities over here. They've left these two provinces open. Probably because they're reinforcing around this area. Maybe they see an opportunity to for an encirclement. But I'm going to take advantage of this. And we'll start uh, snaking through here.
Oop. Got to adjust the lines here. And the other thing I like to do is make sure that we're on aggressive battle plan. <clears throat> Let's go on the motorization priority. We still have 110 trucks in reserve. So as long as we have trucks in reserve, we're going to keep the motorization priority to the three truck version, whatever that is. It doesn't seem to have helped out that much. The big difference was just the first level of motorization. So that was interesting. And the weather more more often than not is going to be the deciding factor of whether you're going to get supply or not. You can see him wrapping. The AI is trying to wrap the divisions around. Don't let him do that. Where are you going, buddy? Try to attack across the line. Correct the AI's attacks where you can. <clears throat> and where you can kind of get uh, cheeky little encirclements and uh, things like that. Try to do that. Oh, we got into Stanislaw. See if he can go further this direction. They don't have anyone over here. So hopefully we can open open that up, get them some supply. That would be awesome. Covell. The Romanian front is pretty much just collapsing now. It was strong at first, but it's absolutely collapsing. We can move our planes up a little bit and get some maybe some better efficiency. God, I wish that wasn't bugged. And let's see if they're still bombing us. Sure enough, they are. OK, so they still have bombers there. No bombers over here, though. And what we're going to try to do is wrap around Transylvania here. And once we break through to Bucharest, uh, Cluj is going to be the next capital. And then that's going to be it for Romania. So we're just going to take the panzers on this flat country here and then wrap around as much as possible. Maybe follow that up with some cavalry. Okay, we got that supply hub over here. I don't know if they're changing the rail gauges or whatever, but we're not really getting that great of supply. But the cavalry's made the breakthrough. We'll go for uh, Brest Litosk over here. I'm, I'm trying not to attack with my tanks too much. Still only 153 trucks, but we're still in the positive on truck. Love it. Let's see if he could just break through. The hardest thing is to try to get up here because that's where the capital moves to. And we're kind of moving them, beating them back in a line. We didn't really make a breakthrough with our tanks. Um, just make sure that he's got everything so we don't have a tactic yet. We almost have the next level of air. We'd probably we'd probably be on the next level of air doctrine, which really doesn't matter because it's a naval mission efficiency. But getting to here quicker would have been better because we ran into that purge event that screwed us over, but it's OK. Yeah, breakthrough right here collectivization process so just stay on this and we should be able to get this event if you just wait a day or two and we can get that air doctor and that's useless but doesn't matter the next one's going to be even better because we're going to get air superiority mission efficiency air wing mission experience gain five percent so that'll be awesome uh we have to wait till october until our debuff here goes away 
That kind of sucks. And I can't wait to get a doctrine. Okay, we've made some major breakthroughs over here. Let's see how far the checks allow us to get. And we're not going to attack with the tanks. We're just going to move around as much as possible. Okay, we've run into some troubles here. Let's just have that cavalry chill for a second. Um, and I think that that's a new air zone. So we got to think about that. This guy can move up and then get green air over here. That'll make everything move quicker. And then this guy could help out the Warsaw area. The tacks have better range. And... Still haven't gotten that breakthrough yet. This looks like a prime area to attack. Okay, we got the Cluj. This is the first time that I've been able to do that in this way. So that's interesting. And we're about to get low, which would be awesome. Okay, why are you maneuvering around? Just go to low. Let's gobble up as much supply as humanly possible. Okay, no encirclement city this time. So even though we didn't make the breakthrough, I'm kind of excited here. Romania might cap after we get Bucharest. Whoops. Sorry, boys. Let's see their stability. 34%. So, yeah, we, we're probably going to have to get another town. But after that, it's going to be done. Let's make sure that these guys can't maneuver around to where they're going to be annoying. I would rather have the tax in Czechoslovakia, actually. Let's move that up. And I doubt that they're attacking back here anymore. See what we have in reserve, two tax, that's fine. And then let's micro the construction queue. So this stuff repairs fairly quickly. But you have to stay on top of it. And let's check the spies out. A lot of micro on these OP builds. And if you're not getting the same results as me on the first try, just know I've been playing this game for a long time, like four years now. So don't get discouraged. Just try, try again. Can't see what these guys... They seem to be stuck there, which is fine by me. Let's have this guy hold. Just hold the area right there. Um, if this guy can get, like, down to there, that would be awesome. The lines look a little spread out over here, though. How many divisions are over here? I actually don't want any... So this is the micro that you have to do with Hearts of Iron 4. But I actually don't want any of those divisions over here. Let's see who fell out of their orders. And then just get them back into the right place. I'm going to take him out of the orders because I, I want him to do this. But you can see I'm being nice and uh, careful with everything that I'm doing right here because it's so important. 
Okay, so they made another breakthrough. Okay, couldn't get through over here, so we'll just go to the next province. And hopefully we can make an encirclement against Hungary over there. That would be awesome. Okay, still have those two empty battle plans up there. And we got Bucharest, okay. So this is where the next uh, area is gonna be to capture. I've already got a man on it, so that looks great. Uh, let's have this guy start smashing into there. We'll just start doing some harassing attacks over here. Uh, maybe have that guy break out to Krakow. Let's see if we can get a little mini encirclement over here. It looks like all we need is that province. Oh, wow. I don't have too many people on this front over here. And, of course, they get it. The AI is much improved. So hopefully this right here is going to cap the Romanians. We're just going to hang tight for a second while that happens. Let's look for some op opportunities in the north. We're going to do it. Oh, no. How did I miss that? Okay. Okay. They got Cluj back. Oh, come on, boys. Making me work today. Let's see if the tank can get there quicker. Go through the planes. Okay, we've got some Czech divisions encircled here. Looks great. See if we can't beat back that cavalry division and get another encirclement over here. Who's going to make it first, the tank or the cavalry? Oh, you goes now coming across. And they're going to take back the precious, the precious territory that I won. Let's get him like over here as quickly as we can. And they encircled my tank. Awesome, guys. The micro is real. Can we capitulate a mostly capitulated country here? Is it possible? We're going to lose this cavalry division. No big deal. They keep on making MJ encirclements on me here. Thank you. We're just going to take all states. Okay. And we're just going to readjust 
where we've got everything positioned. So Konev should be enough to take out Yugoslavia and then just use one of your tacks to get over there. No big deal. Yeah, that guy's not encircled anymore. And it looks like he was about to get killed. Let's take all of our little mobile divisions here. Get him over to Czechoslovakia. And then I'm going to control B. It won't let me. Okay. And that's going to get them over quicker. Let's control B that army. So it won't let you control B two armies at the same time. No big deal. Let's see if we can get an encirclement over here. I'll take any type of encirclement. They really want to encircle me there, right? They, re they really want to encircle me right there. And let's see if we can get a supply hub going. Just keep this tank busy. Oh, we got the Czech Cypher. Perfect. Let's work on Germany. Germany's going to be our next war goal. And did we get the rest of the air over? Okay, so the air is going to move over. Everyone's moving up to the check front. Except for this one truck that is super annoying. And then let's get Konev's forces up there quicker. Oh, these guys are balling here. They're ready to go. Okay, we got the encirclements. Let's head on in, brothers. Kind of a tricky area up here in the hills near Slovakia. Whenever I say Slovakia, I think of like sausage or something. Delicious. I don't know why that is. Okay, let's keep gobbling up land here. We're going to keep running into Czech landmines <laughs> as we go along here. But maybe, hey, we can go over here into Poland. Maybe that'll be the, the secret trick. Getting Krakow would be really important. These guys are overstacked here. Let's get half of them up into Zelina. And then the other half can spread out up here next to Travis Kelsey. Just kidding. Stupid American joke. Sorry, Europeans. Okay, we got an upgrade. Infantry expert. I'll take it. See if we can get more ground crews down. No other upgrades that I can see so far. How are the spies doing? Are we ready to try to get the collabs? Almost. We can infiltrate civilian administration. Practically useless. Let's just keep beating these guys back. Oh, we got a five encirclement here. So I will try to take out that encirclement as quickly as possible. The amount of weapons that you get at the end of a war has been decreased drastically. So you can't just chain um, basically taking over 
capitulating countries uh, in order to get a lot of equipment that way. I used to do that with my Germany speed run. It does slow you down quite a bit. So the Hearts of Iron 4 devs have been a good, doing a good job of trying to balance the game a little bit more in single player. Really appreciate that. Thanks, devs. Uh, we don't have that much artillery in play here. As a matter of fact, what do we have here? Negative 470 trucks. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's take that down. Hopefully that gives us some trucks back. So things are going to be moving too smoothly here. Let's go ahead for radio detection. And let's get down to the better radios on our tanks. Which is going to give us 45% defense and 45% breakthrough. Very juicy. Against the Germans. Who've been known to have good tanks. See if we can break through with that tank. That'd be nice. And then these tanks can maybe somehow try to get through here. I'm pretty sure Zelina is a supply hub. Resla Tosk is probably one as well. So that's going to be important to get into there. Let's get some divisions moving in the right direction over there. I largely just ignore... Konev front down here because he can do it on his own just with his battle plan there. No big deal. Oh, don't let this guy through. Come on. Come on, baby. Get him. We have like this guy over there. take half of these guys and then start moving them up in this direction. Okay, hopefully the British aren't coming here. But we will see. Okay, hopefully my tank can get some supply and loads right there. And we'll just keep working down the focus tree over here. A lot of overstacking happening, so we need to spread these guys out. We're not going to give them the German-Soviet treaty, and it looks like we can invite Mao. We're not going to do that either. And we've got an airport up here. Okay, there's no more war over here in the Balkans. Micro that a bit. All mills all the time. Welcome to the channel, guys. Speed run time, baby. Okay. God, this pesky little pocket. We need to dissolve that. And I've noticed these pockets actually suck up a lot of supply. And one of the hardest things for me when I'm doing these playthroughs is like breaking into Czechoslovakia because you have this little neck here between Germany and Hungary. And it's kind of tough. 
Oh, they just beat back my armor because they don't have any supply. Okay, we have enough armor and we have enough trucks. Perfect. Czechoslovakia joins the allies. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. It must have to do with uh, UK's focus tree. So that's going to make this playthrough like super challenging. So now the allies are going to pile in against us. We're going to have to put out some navy just in case. Let's get like these guys out here. Potentially over there. Uh, put them on strike force. Put these guys on convoy ratings so the UK can invade. And then the other thing that will happen is somehow they'll get into the Black Sea. Which is very annoying. So the next video, I have a save queued up where the allies didn't come in. And the next video will be that save. We will not be using this save. But that doesn't mean that this save, you know, there's nothing, no information to glean from this save. Absolutely not. But um, we're going to end the video here. And um, unfortunately, like this bugged out a little bit. I'm sure that hurt me. And uh, it's just going to be a slog into Czechoslovakia and Poland. The next video, uh, we're going to be lined up against Germany. And uh, we can take these two countries fairly easily. And the UK shouldn't be able to intervene. They will get some air over here. It will hurt quite a bit. Mainly the, the part where uh, because the war will continue because we don't capitulate the allies, um, the resistance in these countries is going to be very nasty, even with the collabs on Poland. Um, so it is way better if UK and the allies don't come into the war. It's like I said, it's happened to me about 50% of the time, and I'm not sure why. It must be something to do with Neville Chamberlain and his mustache face or something like that. Um, something to do with the UK focus. Maybe someone can help me out in the comments section below. But uh, I'll see you on the next video where we load up the save where we're going to invade Germany. Have a good night, guys.